some very disappointing news was just confirmed. Hey guys, so quickly before I get into this, I will just warn that this video will probably be quite rambly, uh, so sorry in advance, but I would still recommend waiting to just the end of the video to get my full thoughts, I think, uh, because there's a lot of messages that I think you need to hear. So recently I've been doing a lot of rumor videos on my channel from someone called Lego Hio, who was a pretty unreliable source, he was kind of a new source, but he had some like pretty interesting things, for example some leaked parts showing that he had some connection to Lego, which we'll get to soon, but I am sure that you've heard it by now, everything was fake, but I'm getting ahead of myself, we'll get to that. So starting off with the story, I think it's important to touch on yesterday. Early yesterday, he posted a rumor dump about some UCS sets for 2023, and no, I did not make a video on it because I simply didn't believe it. And I actually put this on my Instagram story, and I said how I was very skeptical about Lego Hio, and that the only things were real were the Force Ghost pieces and the Le Luke's Landspeeder visor pieces, which we'll get to soon, because that's actually very surprising. But seriously, I did actually put this out way before any of this happened, but I'm not trying to go I was smarter, because yes, I did fall for this, uh, and in fact, quite a lot of it, sadly. If you're curious, yes, Lego Hio did see this story. And then, of course, later that day, he posted this, saying, it's all fake, bruh. So, yeah, he, he just revealed it. Now, he did post memes as well, but honestly, that Force Ghost piece was so reliable. And I think the description really says it all, because it is all relevant. Definitely pause to read it, but I'll just uh, go through the best parts, I think. So, first of all, he does reveal that every post in the last six weeks has either been a meme, a genuine prediction, satire, or just cringe content. So... Yeah, just, yeah. Uh, I think that, obviously, none of these, as he says, are rumours in any legitimate way. So, anything that he said, anything that I covered was wrong, including the fourth ghost piece. Yes, that was fake. Again, he talks about that, so we'll get to it. I think that the next paragraph, though, is probably the most important one for this video, and it's the one that I focused on the most. This paragraph I'll just read. Now, this is all Lego Hero up next. I have a couple of things to say. Firstly, I didn't do this to drag anyone's name through the mud. To all the content creators who shared and reviewed my content, I have the utmost respect for you. If you are upset, I am truly sorry. I've been watching many of these creators for several years, even back when they had relatively small following. People like Emma Productions and Brickyota5555, yes, I was in this post. Anyways, there are also some creators that I have added to my daily watch list. Truly great guys like Republic Studs and Five First Productions. Go check them out. You guys are living my dream and I only have love for your work. Keep it up. I hope everyone can look back on this and laugh about it because that was the whole point when I started. So yeah, I think that sums up pretty much everything. I'll just move on to what he also has to say. Basically, he talks about Belinda was used for the Force Ghost piece, which honestly looks incredible. And he also doesn't want to reveal his job, but he does use that in it. Uh, so yeah, he is very talented, I will just point that out. Like, that Force Ghost piece looked very convincing, and I didn't even consider that it was made in, like, a render that was just, just wow, that looks honestly so good. It's not just content creators he apologized to, he just says some stuff here about some of the people uh, who fell for it, and really guys, I am sorry for covering that, I will get to that, uh, like, in the conclusion, because there is still some stuff to cover. Uh, but seriously, this guy, I also love what he says, like, at the bottom about the LEGO Styles Iceberg. I know that if I ever make a video, I will be sure to add you LEGO Hio. So, yeah, after seeing this, I did message LEGO Hio, and I said, thank you. What? So, maybe that wasn't what you expected, but that's how I felt. Let me explain. So, first of all, obviously, thanks to those videos, one of them being my second most popular, that brought a whole bunch of you guys to this channel, which I could not ask for anything more. Obviously, the fact that some of you people watching this uh, are only here because of that Force Ghost video just really makes me happy, and I seriously hope that you stick around because we've got still some more stuff to cover that is reliable. And anyways, the more important one is the second thing, which is that he taught me, and probably some of you, a great lesson. Don't trust everything you read on the internet, and that might sound dumb because I know a lot of you guys know that, and yeah, I thought I knew that, but like, looking at this, obviously, I didn't know that enough, so I am happy that this whole ordeal happened 
so that now I can be way more cautious when it comes to covering rumors on the channel. And as I said in my story, maybe I didn't fully believe all of these, but still I covered them nonetheless, and still I may have said, take it with a big grain of salt, but still I covered it, and some people would have just seen the thumbnail gone cool news and then went on with that day thinking that that was true. And I think I definitely deserve a bit of blame here, so I am sorry guys uh, for covering this and seriously like covering things on the channel. As I said in my story, I will be covering these kind of dodgy rumors in this week in LEGO Star Wars, which by the way didn't come out this week for unknown reasons, but whatever. Uh, still, that'll be where I cover these rumors like this, and again, I will always say, take it with a big grain of salt. So whether you forgive me or not is up to you. You can tell me I told you so in the comments, I don't care, you can be disappointed you could have thought that it was real like me, just do what you want in the comments, I'll read them nonetheless. Uh, and I will leave you guys with Lego Heroes Apology, which is more directed at you guys, uh, so please read through that. Uh, seriously, it is all important. Also, stick around, because I still have to cover some Summer 2022 rumors, which I covered this over there for some reason. But still, I do hope that you guys enjoy. However, yeah, that won't be all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. There we all, folks. Goodbye.